how do we reset after relapsing on the curve prayers or studies? I try to do it again, yeah. but I feel like guilt gate keeps me when I uh, miss it. It makes me feel undeserving. Yeah, that's a really good question. Thank you so much for asking that question. How do we reset? Is that we recognize that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the all merciful. And the shaitan, there is nothing more that he would want to do than separate us from any act of obedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, particularly by whispering to us that we're not deserving. The reality is we're not deserving. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has extended these opportunities to us, <coughs> excuse me, out of his generosity, out of his generosity. <clears throat> <clears throat> so we are undeserving, but we don't allow the shaitan to stand between us and any act of obedience. The Prophet wasallam he says, kunt. Be mindful of Allah wherever you are. And follow up a bad deed with a good deed that will erase it. So in other words, the Prophet wasallam is telling us, Immediately, immediately, whenever you have the opportunity, turn back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Don't delay. Fafirru ilallah. So flee now to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And naturally, that guilt might set in. Oh, I've been, haven't read Quran for an entire week. Oh, I'm doing such a bad job. And now I'm going to read it. And I know I'm going to leave it in the future. Say, A'udhu billahi minash shaitan rajeem. Even if you read Quran for one minute, for one minute, it's better, infinitely better than zero. So just turn to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And I remember a story that I heard from one of my uh, teachers, Al Habib Abu Bakr Al Kaf, may Allah have mercy on him. He said that when uh, one of the prophets, I believe it was Prophet Musa alayhi salam, he asked Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he said, Oh Allah, what do you say? When your obedient servant calls upon you. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala responded and said, I say to him or her, Labbayka abdi, I am at your service, O servant of mine. Then he asked, What do you say when a sinful servant calls upon you? And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, I say, Labbayka abdi, Labbayka abdi, Labbayka abdi. At your service, my servant. At your service, O oh my servant. At your service, O oh my servant. Three times over. Why? Because Allah loves for that servant to turn back in repentance. Right? So we know the vastness of Allah's generosity and we uh, do not delay. And we don't allow the, the mental block and the waswasa of the shaitan to stop us or slow us down. We've already lost enough time, so we should hasten back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and he is the most merciful.